Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to add in items. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add in blocks to the game. So we want to go over here to our init package and we want to create a new class and you probably guessed it, tutorial blocks. Inside of there, we need to create a method called public static void init. And then another one called public static void register. And then at the top here creates a few spaces. And we want to type in public static block. And then we're going to type in test underscore block for our variable name. Now this here will be highlighted in red. What you want to do is type control shift O. When it comes up with this, click on net.minecraft.block.block. Now for your variable names, make sure that they're all underscore and if you have a space, put an underscore for that space. It just looks a whole lot nicer and keeps it more organized. Inside this initialization method, what you want to do is type in test underscore block equals new block. Then at the end of it, we're going to type set unlocalized name. And then again, we're going to do the same with the item here. We're going to do this um, get unlocal, oh, not this one, set unlocalized name, and then we're going to pop in the same variable from up here. So we're going to copy that, but we're going to create brackets and then paste that inside of it. So it should look something like this here. And then press Control Shift O to, uh, uh, this should be, oh, we need to add a material to it. So click on this, add argument block material. And you simply have to do material dot uh, whatever you want. Uh, we might just do something that I can break with my hands. Might just do cloth. There we go. And then we also just need to can do control shift O again just to. Uh, now we actually need to create a new block class for this because. Um, the in or the um, constructor method here is protected and that means only classes that are extending it can actually call this method so we've actually got to create our own class so what we need to do is go over to here uh, to commit.mrcrayfish.tutorial or whatever your package is and we need to create a new um, package folder called or we'll keep your name there but at the end do dot blocks and then click on the blocks package and we want to do a new class just called block test or whatever you want to call it and we want to make that extends block press control shift O and then double click on net.minecraft.block.block .block. and then you want to add the constructor method now change this protected here to public press save and then go back to our tutorial blocks class and instead of block here type block test and then import block or press control shift O instead I might do that just because sometimes that um, drop down menu doesn't actually show up now inside the register method we want to type in game registry register block so copy this variable here, put it as the first argument, and then for the second one, paste it in again, but we want to do get unlocalized name substring 5. And it should look something like this. Now again, we need to register the render for the block, and this is just to um, render it in the inventory. Uh, so again, we need to create two methods, one called public static void register renders and then squiggly brackets and then another method called public void public static void register render and then we need to put in parameters block block and then squiggly brackets open that up now it's a little bit different what we're going to do is we're going to type in item item equals item dot get item from block 
and then pass in our block parameter there. And then we want to do exactly the same, so we might go over to our tutorial items here, copy this, go back to our tutorial blocks and then just paste that in and it should work straight away. So go ahead and save that. And then also, I forgot, inside of register renders, what you want to simply do is type in register render and then we'll pop in our test block uh, variable here, inside of there, semicolon on the end. Now inside of your client proxy class, simply um, call your class, a block tutorial blocks, and then just register renders. So make sure that's in your client proxy. What we need to do is go back to our mod class, and under here, what we want to do, actually we're going to do it above it, we're going to type in tutorial blocks.init. Now that pop-up didn't come out because uh, it just glitched out there with Eclipse. Um, again, Control shift o to import it, and then under that we'll do tutorial blocks.register, and then it will automatically fill it in there for you. So we've initialized it, and we've registered our block. So it's calling these two methods here. What we're going to do is we're going to do that same command, say so forward slash give tab, and then space again, then type in our mod ID, so tm, press tab, and it looks like oh, tutorial test block. Enter that in, and there we go, we've got our test block. Now we need to apply a texture to it, so I'm going to quickly create a texture, and then I'll show you how to apply it to the block. So there we go, there's my block texture, very simple, I wanted to keep it kind of looking like the item. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to do is save that as, and then what we've got to do is go to our um, modding folder, so ours is here, tutorial, go to source, main, resources, assets, your mod ID, and then go into textures, and then we need to create a new folder called blocks. And then go inside of there, and then what you want to name your item is the variable name. So we did test block, so that will be our name for our file. So test underscore block dot png. Save that. Now to actually apply it, what we've got to do is grab some, well we've got to create a JSON file. So what we need to do is, um, what you want to do is come over to here, click on assets.tm and then, or whatever your mod ID is, create a new package, or it's, it is a package or folder, same thing. We want to do models.block. And then we should have a list um, here now with the uh, models folder, so we have block and item. Inside a block, what we need to do is right click it, new, untitled text file, and then the code that we need to put inside of there, we want to go down to the bottom here on our package, package explorer, click on reference libraries, click on forge source, assets, and then Minecraft, and then you want to go down to models, and inside a block here, we simply want to uh, just get a basic block, let me just find a basic block. Open up this dirt here, copy that code, so you just open up the dirt.json file. Then we want to put it into our file that we're creating, so pop that in there. And then what you want to do is for this O here, we want to type in our mod ID, so mine is tm, do a colon, and then we're going to type in our variable name, which was test underscore block. Press save. And if you come up with this, press down arrow, go to source, main, resources, assets, tm, uh, not, not textures, models, click on block, and then you want to type in test, our variable name again, test underscore block dot json, press OK. And if we go ahead and we load up the game now, now my bad, we've actually forgot to do one step, and this was actually create a block state. So what you need to do is go over to your resources folder here, click on your assets.modid, and we need to create a new package. Leave that there, do dot block states. 
And then inside of block states, what we want to do is create a new untitled text file. And inside of that text file, what we want to do is type in, and we want to type in open squiggly bracket, then new line, we're going to press tab, and then we'll do two quotations. And inside of that, we want to type in variance. After that, put a colon. They want to leave a space, do another open squiggly bracket, go into a new line, press tab again, and then we're going to do another double quotation here and type in normal. And then after these quotations, semicolon, space, open squiggly bracket. And inside of here, we're going to do another two quotations, type in model. After that, colon, leave a space, another two quotations. And I'm sorry if you can hear my bird in the background. Uh, we want to type in our mod ID, so ours is tm, and then colon, and then we want to type in our variable name, which is test underscore lock. And test lock is also the name of our model, fi model file we just created a second ago. And then after that, close it with a squiggly bracket, and go on to this last next line, just back three, another squiggly closing squiggly bracket, then go back to the start here, and then another one, and there we go. Go ahead and we're going to press save. And we're going to go Minecraft, source, main, resources, assets, tm. Click on block states. And then we're going to type in here test underscore block. OK. Now, one thing that we've also got to do and we haven't done yet, and I should have done it before, is actually create the um, item model for the block. Now, you get for the block, you've got to create the block model. Um, and the item model. The item model is what goes in the inventory. The block model is what is rendered in the world. So we're going to do the item model now. So we're simply going to go over to our side here, and I'm just going to go down um, where we were where we were before. Forge source assets Minecraft. And we're going to go models. Oops. And then we're going to go to item here, and then we're just going to find a typical. Um, we'll go to dirt here because this is pretty simple. We're going to copy that code. Um, if you can't actually copy or we'll open this up, because I've seen somebody um, type that in the comments of the last episode, um, simply just pause the video and just copy this out or something like that. And I'm going to go back and we go back to here. We're going to right click item, new, untitled text file, paste that in. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to type in tm, so our mod ID, colon, shh, Popeye. And when we type in block, leave that there, forward slash, and then test underscore, test underscore block. And then go ahead, save that, and then you want to put that into source, main, resources, assets, tm, models, and click on item, and then just name that test, test block dot json. Press OK, and there we go. And there we go, we've got our texture rendering in the inventory and we've also got it rendering in the world. So there we go guys, that's how you add blocks and items into the game. So if you enjoyed this tutorial today, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to keep up with this tutorial series, make sure you subscribe because I am going to be posting some more. I want to start just doing some, just some cool functions and stuff like that that you guys might be interested in. And that is basically it. I will see you guys for the next tutorial. See you later.